What it do, Internet? David Baugh here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the movie Pleasantville. Let's get into it. Now we break down every movie on this channel in the same manner. We do story, pacing, acting, cinematography, and execution. That way it stays predictable, and you guys can follow along as it's happening. But, story. Pleasantville is a fantastic movie all around. Uh, now this movie is about a guy that uh, gets trapped in an old sitcom TV show and his he has an effect on their world by starting to change it over into color. Wonderful storyline. I absolutely am gonna give it to it. Uh, pacing as well, uh, they, the way that they bring about that color change and the way that the town is reacting to those things. Uh, it's just really well done. And uh, acting as well. You got William H. Macy is doing a fantastic job in there. Reese Witherspoon has a wonderful change of character. Everybody in the movie has an arc. There's nobody there that's one dimensional. There's nobody there that, that you know, uh, is, is just there for exposition or what have you. Everybody gets that sort of Oscar moment that you're looking for out of them. Uh, the, the guy that played the mayor was fantastic. Um, Jeff Daniels, fantastic, fantastic performance. Uh, cinematography. This movie truly excels at cinematography uh, because they're moving everything from black and white to color, and they're doing it selectively. Uh, so the town, people in the town, you know, first their lips may be red, or they may see a red flower, and then it sort of builds as their minds are changing, as they're having that sort of epiphany, and as they're growing as people, and starting to understand larger concepts, you know, they're struck with this color, and it's wonderful to see it go from black and white all, all the way over. Uh, execution. It's just super well done. It's just one of those movies. I mean, it's almost timeless, you know? It, and it was interesting rewatching it because this movie came out in 1998, which was quite a while ago now. Um, and it still, still holds true. It's still just a fantastic movie, you know? And, and it's just told very well. Uh, I definitely have to give that movie a 5 out of 5. But that's all I had for you guys today. It was a pleasure as always, and you have a wonderful evening.